The SciTech X52 throttle includes two detents in its throttle movement. There are actually many situations where you don't want to feel detents as you're adjusting the throttle setting. But this is easy to fix. This video shows you how to remove this tiny part so you can get back to smooth flying. A detent is a mechanical resistance to rotation. The two detents in this throttle are at the 25% position and the 75% position. If you're using this throttle with the DIY Easy Helicopter Collective, you definitely do not want detents in the throttle movement. This is a pretty easy modification, so let's get started. I like to begin by placing a piece of tape over the USB cable to keep the dirt out. Reduce the setting to zero on the tension knob. I recommend placing the throttle on something soft so it won't get scuffed up. There are eight screws that hold the throttle base together. Two in the middle, two near the tension knob, two screws in opposite corners, and two more in the corners underneath the rubber non-skid pads. Uh, by the way, disassembly of this product will void the warranty, just so you know. Let's tackle the hidden fasteners first. I'm using a small screwdriver to pry up the rubber pad to reveal the screw underneath. Now I can remove this first screw. A magnetic screwdriver can help in this situation. Repeat with the screw in the opposite corner. Next, remove the screws in the middle. Note that this screw is different. There are three different types of screws. The four corner screws, two longer screws for the middle, and two tiny screws for the tension knob. Do not get these mixed up. Here I'm using a small screwdriver for these small screws under the tension knob. Finally, we'll remove the last two screws in the corners. The two halves of the base are snapped together. There's a plastic latch inside there holding it together. As we open it, observe how the parts fit together. You see that slimy looking thing there? That's what we will remove, uh, sort of like pulling a tooth. Now here as I'm moving the throttle grip, you can see two ridges on the rotating axle. Those ridges are what rub against the tooth and cause the resistance you feel when you move the throttle. Those are detents. And by the way, do not get that grease on you. It's hard to wash off. This really is like pulling a tooth, but much easier. Use pliers. Find a good grip and pull straight out. That's what we like to see. Now let's put it back together. The two halves of the base must be aligned perfectly. These two white plastic tabs must fit in these two slots. Snap it shut and start reinstalling the screws. And again, here's a reminder of what they look like. Start with these two corners. Next, attach two tiny screws for the tension knob. And then the two middle screws. So you'll notice we're attaching the screws in the reverse order that we removed them. Finally, install the screws in these last two corners. Try to stick the rubber pad back in place the best you can. It should stick pretty well. And try it out. Try it with different tension settings. It's so much smoother now. 
I really think you will enjoy using this throttle after this modification. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe too so you don't miss my new videos. You can also connect with me on Facebook and Twitter. Those links and more are in the show notes.